good afternoon. It is Saturday. And today is the day. The time has come. This thing I've been trying to grow for, I don't know, like a week or two, two weeks maybe. It's time that we part ways. It just wasn't coming in over here. I know it's patchy, but it really wasn't coming in at all over my chin. And I'm not gonna, I'm not one to, to rock a neck beard. It's just not me. So it was a good try, but I'd rather just keep it clean. weirdly grown in beard if you could call that beard but we had we did something that we should do more often but we don't we slept in which is warranted considering we didn't get home till three but we slept in then I edited the podcast and uploaded it because if you are a patron supporter of our podcast you get it a day early than everybody else so I edited that posted that it's ready for tomorrow's big release or yeah, tomorrow's big release, so when you're watching this, it'll be live. Um, Sarah's getting the vlog finished up right now, and I'm going to have a late morning, late or early afternoon cup of coffee in my Epcot 35 mug before we head out to the parks for the day, because it is day one of a three-day weekend. I'm also out of cream, so I'm drinking this black, but I'm okay with that. Look at that. What a better way to walk in Epcot. Beautiful skies, beautiful temperature, and monorail. What is that, yellow or green? My glasses are green. I just thought I saw a Sprinkle Me Style shirt, and I got uh, so nervous. Sarah's super excited. In the wild. Yes. But it wasn't. Sarah's poor, so we have been wearing these Weirwood branded sunglasses since we moved here, like right shortly after we moved here, we got them, so over six months. And Sarah's were broken. I'm like, broke. we picked them up in the car, and they were like, a chunk was taken off. So we'll have to see about if she's got like a temporary everyday pair or if we can get a new pair. They were super good. They did us good. So like, I think that's good. Like we had them for over six months of regular use. Yeah, and I should have had them in the bag. That's yeah. my fault. It's okay. But it's Epcot, it's the weekend. We gotta go to the lounge. It's open. <laughs> So we made our first purchase of the last weekend of Festival of the Arts, if you want to call it that sadness. But we're, it's exciting because Flower and Garden's starting. And I know like it'll be more sad when Flower and Garden comes to an end in April. Because then we'll be in hiatus until the, the best thing ever. But we got to deconstruct it, and I have to tell a quick story because we ran into ears to you. And they got, like, we saw Promise and she ordered the deconstructed Reuben, which is super good, but we went there for the deconstructed BLT. So Brock walks up and we're talking, he's gonna get the BLT, and I'm like, cool, I'll get in line with you. We're talking, we order the food, I get, give the customer my receipt, he hands me the deconstructed Reuben. Reuben. I was like, Reuben, I looked down at my receipt. Sure enough, I ordered the deconstructed Reuben. Promise, you mind controlled me. You subconsciously changed my mind to get the Reuben instead of the BLT. But Sarah likes this more than the BLT. We're gonna walk around with them. Yeah. So we'll go back because we're trying to find our family friends that are here visiting for their uh, their children's school. Do you remember we had talked about it before, the marching band. Yeah. Our so we're trying to find them, and we'll make our way back. And Sarah said we can still get the BLT <laughs> later because I just fumbled all my all my life. Oh my God! So we saw the signs for the flowers, but this is the first booth we've seen with. Signage and she's wearing the ears. You should have waited till till then. I was excited about it, okay? Okay, and also it's there's a rule you can never wear those again in 2018. I'm saying like why why would you not just be able to wear those again? It's too excited. Peter says he wants to get some new stuff because the festival's ending and we didn't do a lot of new stuff. What do we do? We get the Reuben we've had and we get the pants just go, but these are like our favorites. Yeah, but we had your, this last year. Ruben was your favorite, but we didn't have this yet at all this year. No. So it's kind of like a repeat, 
but kind of not. Yeah, let's try it out. Oh, it's my favorite. I just want to eat it all. Land, so I can take it. Okay, okay. okay. This is what life looks like for anybody who wants to see like behind the scenes of social media invested people in Disney World. I have my camera, or the vloggy camera, and she's got the, the fancy phone with the fancy photos. Sarah said I got the first bite. Get a little bit of everything. She handpicked that flower. I, this is this was a dish. If you go back, we'll put last year's vlog from our old channel up somewhere. This is when I watched them prepare this. This was like I love Festival of the Arts, and I even grabbed like this is where I saw in my old coordinator from Lodge Cumbella, who's now a manager, and I was like, Evan, this this festival is where it's at. The fact that like they care that much about this to make it look like a piece of art on top of just a flavor. Favorite thing in the festival. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is like the least decorated hallway I've ever seen in Disney. But I know it's like, I think it's the exit typically. This is the American Pavilion. We haven't done this since we moved here. And it just got the opened American up from refurb. Adventure. Yes, from refurbishments. And there's like, I think two or three new scenes. But I don't think we've done this in like four years. A long time. So, and, and it's, I'm happy because I'm not sleepy. No. I think. We're the only ones gonna be in this, and it's like a 45-minute thing. So <laughs> 20 minutes. So we'll uh, we'll let you know how this goes. If you've never been in this, I know it's a time commitment, but maybe even just run in here just to see the grander mm -hmm. size. But it's like all these statues are different American people, and they like they're, they're all representing of different things, like spirit of freedom, spirit of tomorrow, spirit of self-reliance, -re spirit mm -hmm. of adventure. Heritage, independence, innovation, discovery. Do you see this? Where shall we eat? Over on a garbage can, of course. Oh my god, this is like the. This is super cool. I can tell like this is like a big theme of Festival of the Arts, like the flower on the droppings. Which is not the best word to use, as Sarah's face just said. We got Swish and Flicks live stream. I don't know where the chicken ends and begins. It's kind of a weird Skin. circle. We're recording a new video for our. Alright, chicken. This is a chicken fancy thing from Pop Eats. It's going to be recipes from mm. the good old. Good old. What do you think? Super good. Unofficial Harry Potter. And it's nice to give you two whole pieces here. Like, that whole thing is Sarah's, that whole thing is mine. Yeah. And it's then we got this apple crisp chip. Okay, I just had. I just had this chicken thing. I can't even know what yeah, it's actually it's called. So it's like good. chicken, chicken sous vide sous vide sous vide ratatouille thing. Super good. I think it just beat last year and this year because we haven't had everything from Festival Arts. I said the seared scallop was my favorite. This just beat it. It's like perfect amount of chicken savory. But sweetness and I think you like it because it's similar to like a turkey dinner holiday yeah, sandwich. That's for sure what it is. And then I haven't had my apple crisp yet, but I don't like that. But the rest no? of it's good, yeah. You can have that. Okay, thank you. it just tastes like stale air. But the rest of it is still my favorite. Still my favorite. The skin on the chicken? So good. My I don't know if we're gonna do it if the cause the deconstruct is right there. I don't know if we're gonna end up getting the BLT and called Dunno after that or not. But I had to point out before we leave our, our garbage can. Look how beautiful that looks with World Showcase and the reflecting off the water and everything. That's not World Showcase. Look at how beautiful this looks with Spaceship Earth reflecting off the water and everything. It just looks great. Thank you. It's quite dark, but... It's juicy and crusty and delicious smelling and sounding and feeling. Now we're getting back to our old ways. Heading to Tangerine Cafe to get some water. All right, we believe we've purchased our last Festival of the Arts item of the year. I don't know, we might have a sporadic spur one tomorrow, but you never know, but just in case it is, got a Cleanse our palates with some Club Cool 
is from Wakanda. Stop. No, it's not. And she's doing that because the floor is stickier than it's ever been in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can feel it seeping through my flip flops already. Let us know if you think these ears rock. Our friend Lauren and Sarah made them together. Uh, I don't know of how much of illuminations got in the vlog because we weren't vlogging too much in the last minute. Sarah's like, did you did you get any did you do anything well, that we we're supposed were, to we do? Met up with um, you know, it was my old band director and color guard um, instructor. But the thing is, like, they were more than that. Like, I was very close with their family. They were at our wedding, so yeah. it was so nice that we were able to meet up with them. But Sarah and also, both their sisters used to babysit their children. Yeah, like we're we're also gonna go see. Because now their kids are in high school. They're the ones in the band performing. They're the band and color guard director from our high school. And they're actually going to be down again in March for them. But like now they're just like vacationing. So it was nice. We're going to see the kids perform tomorrow. But and I'm on nature. I have a question for you all. Let us know the most ridiculous parking spot you've had in the Disney parks. Because that Spaceship Earth, this is literally the back of Epcot. And I didn't even I didn't even realize that there was like parallel parking spots, like perpendicular parking spots. That's our car. In one of these spots, that is absurd. So please, let us know if you've had something similar or more ridiculous than that. We are home and it's 10:23. 10 this is a record. <laughs> and we're getting up super early tomorrow. We're going back to Epcot to meet up with. Jordan and Robert mm -hmm. in the morning. They're here and with then their church. We're so. meeting back up with uh, the family we met up with today in the afternoon. So we're and gonna like Magic leave, go to Epcot early, come home, hang out, eat for a while, and then go to Magic Kingdom. So because of that, we're gonna sign off now because we're actually gonna edit the vlog, or Sarah's gonna edit the vlog, and then we're gonna go to bed. Indy. I can't believe that the festival of is almost over. You know, tomorrow is the Another actual chapter. last day. That will go, yeah. and it's it's crazy because it's, it's another festival. And then we, we have Flower and Garden soon, but it's weird because once Flower and Garden ends, we'll have lived here for all of the festivals of Epcot. Yeah, it's so, Alrighty. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. And shaved. Ho ho ho. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.